Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Intel's Compute Card. It's a tiny PC on a device that's not much larger than a credit card. It's about five millimeters thick, and it has USB uh, Type-C connector and a PCIe Express connector. It's uh, not something that you're going to necessarily be able to buy and turn into a full-fledged computer on your own, but the idea is that devices that are made for this, you'll be able to upgrade without having to buy a completely new, say, smart TV, smart refrigerator, or other devices. Theoretically, it could also work in laptops and desktops. Um, the positioning is something that you might wind up using in something like an all-in-one PC, so you can keep your display and uh, replace the uh, guts of the computer, basically. But uh, it's not something that they're currently positioning for laptops, but it is something that does open up that possibility in a modular future. All the hardware that you need for the basic computing experience is on here, including an Intel uh, KB Lake processor or an Intel Apollo Lake processor. Both of them will be available as options. It also has memory storage and the operating system runs on the device itself. So if you buy, uh, for example, a TV, this will be your smart TV device. And in a couple of years when you don't want to replace your whole TV, but it's not capable of running the latest version of your smart TV software, you just buy a new compute card, uh, probably from the manufacturer of the TV instead of from Intel directly, and it'll have everything installed on it. We're going to find out a lot more about this later in 2017 when Intel releases it at the uh, the Computex show in June, but they're showing off the concept and, and uh, the basic form factor and idea here at the Consumer Electronics <laughs> Show. In a lot of ways, this is sort of the future of the Intel Compute Stick, which was another small form factor device that was released a couple of years ago and upgraded for a while. There are no compute sticks coming out, no new ones in 2017, but they will continue to support the models with Cherry Trail and Skylake processors. Uh, I have to hand this back, but I just wanted to do a quick video showing you what it looks like. And um, that is the Intel Compute Card, which uh, is under development and going to get a full launch in June 2017. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.